you know, if I'm being honest, it's not necessarily that I'm more stylish or that it comes easier for me. It's just that I know how to pick out the right accessories. Let's go! I'm a big mood. You can't name a lot of things that I didn't do. Stack of paper like a book, not a Kindle. You outdated, I'm the one that Number one is a wrap. Yeah, a simple cashmere wrap. Yeah, or as I like to call, just like a jumbo scarf. You know, a Lenny Kravitz scarf. Just, you know, just own it. Just own that volume. Just makes it a little more dramatic. And you know I love my drama. I think drama can add a bit of edge, just a little bit of interest. As well as that, keeps it nice and warm and cozy. Number two is a fisherman's beanie. Beanies are a very prominent part of our winter lives. And so for me, I always like to opt for just a little bit of edge. And to me, because the fisherman's beanie just has that rugged charm and I like the contrast that it brings to more basic looks or more sophisticated looks, especially when I'm wearing like a turtleneck. I just got this one. Like I just got this one. So if you don't want to, you know, invest in a fisherman's beanie because you're like, I'm, I don't know if it's right for me yet. You want to just kind of test her out. All you need is just like a simple, just a simple conventional normal beanie. This is just, I pulled this from the closet. It's my son's. I've literally been doing this trick for years. I haven't even had like a proper fisherman's beanie until now. This one you can get on Revolve right now, but this one you could go into your closet um, and get. So you're just going to take that and all you're going to do is simply double fold, double roll. That's it. That is it. It's as simple as that. And it's going to look like this little dinky thing, but then you just put that on. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's adorable actually. Okay. I'm going to be stealing this. Yeah. I'm ice cold. Freeze. Give me a little more, please. Fly like the birds and the bees. Pose for the pig. Cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Number three is a good pair of sunglasses. Now, I know there are some people that are like, oh, I've got strong eyes. I don't need sunglasses. Well, all right, Karen, that's fine for you. But regardless, even if I didn't have weak, weak eyes, um, which I do <laughs> very much so, I'm super sensitive to light, um, especially in the winter here in Minnesota because of the snow, it is like intensified. My point is um, that regardless of whether or not I need them for practical functional purposes, I need them for style. Yeah, I will always opt to wear sunglasses. Like it has to be absolutely <laughs> cloudy and gray and gloomy as can be for me not to wear my sunglasses. Um, and even then sometimes because the effect that it has on a look is magical. So it instantly adds a good amount of edge. It sort of just finishes off the look. It adds some mysteriousness and similar to drama, <laughs> mysteriousness adds that little bit of interest, adds that little bit of edge to an outfit. So always opt. So these ones specifically, I just got gifted to me from Quince for the sponsor video that I did for them last week. And that was ultimately just for their cashmere, but I was like, oh, I gotta have the sunglasses. Um, I've ultimately adopted the round frame as like a signature style piece for myself, um, you know? And so I had, to, when I saw these, I had to get them. These sunglasses are $50 and they are polarized. I have admittedly so spent hundreds of dollars on sunglasses in the past. And I have never actually had a polarized pair of sunglasses. And I wasn't quite sure, I was like, mm, are they gonna be kind of feel cheap and not good quality? But girl, let me tell you, quality. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit giddy about these sunglasses just because of the style, the quality, and the price. This video is not even sponsored by Quince this week, but um, I will shout it on the rooftops. Edgy accessory number four is a square bandana scarf. This one specifically is from All Saints. Um, I believe it's made out of viscose. So I just liked the kind of gauziness 
of this one, especially for the transformation or the little hack I'm about to show. This is one that I get asked a lot about where people think I'm wearing a necklace and they'll say, where did you get your necklace? And I'm like, it's actually not a necklace. It's just a scarf. Everybody on your feet for the ovation. Come again, where you been? What's the situation? Picking up on my sin, I'm a sensation. Keeping it a Call me Ben Franklin. In the wintertime, my neck gets a little drafty. So I like that it protects the neck. Um, and I just like the kind of little bit of edge and texture and interest that it adds. And again, it's sort of a little bit more unconventional. And it sort of has that little youthful vibe of the choker. I believe this is an 18 by 18 one. And that's that one. Okay. Another item that was gifted to me that I've became very obsessed with. Um, and that is my earrings from Idol, kind of willy-nilly in there now. And so I kind of like that I can then bring in these really feminine things like diamond earrings. And yes, these are real diamond earrings created in the lab. So they're sustainable. They aren't just your stereotypical diamond earrings, you know, them being modular and just a very contemporary design. And then I just kind of put them all together to make it even more like in your face and bold. A little more drama, again. Then combined with things like a fisherman's beanie, you then add in a sort of feminine, elegant, luxe element with the more rugged, masculine element of the beanie, and then you further elevate. So that's the thing I love about all of these five accessories is they stand on their own. They can stand fully on their own to elevate a basic look but then combined, they're simple enough as well, then combined, they don't really interfere with each other, they just ultimately accent each other. So I love that. What's next? Dress to the T, I came to flex. Confidence up to my neck. 100% ain't nothing less. Everybody quiet on the set. I'm ice cold, freeze. Give me a little more, please. Fly like the birds and the bees. Pose for the pig cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Pose for the pig cheese. Say cheese. Say cheese. Pose for the pig cheese. Mirror, 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 who the freshest? Say it one time for the record.